Ohm, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Uh, does anyone else seek recognition? Gentleman from Ohio. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is yet another resolution put forth by Democrats on this committee to keep this so-called impeachment chatter alive and well to look for something that isn't there. They lack the facts and they know it. Instead of focusing on the opioid crisis or keeping families safe at the borders or rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure or lowering prescription drug prices, they've been busy on this committee pursuing a faux impeachment, a fake impeachment. What I mean by a faux impeachment, it's absolutely not happening. It's a charade. Absolutely is. Well, it, it seems like every week the majority is issuing subpoena after subpoena, holding hearing after hearing, and passing resolution after resolution regarding an investigation that's already been completed by special counsel Robert Mueller at a cost of tens of millions of dollars. All so the Democrats on the committee can keep talking about the possibility of impeachment without actually authorizing a formal impeachment inquiry. Today, we have yet another resolution that wastes more of this distinguished committee's time to ostensibly give this committee the power to do something that's already in this committee's power to do. And still, committee Democrats haven't scheduled such a vote, nor has this committee marked up anything to authorize formal impeachment proceedings. Here are the facts. Special Counsel Mueller, after a lengthy and thorough 22-month investigation indicated in his report, then sat before the, this very committee and testified that the president did not conclude, excuse me, did not collude with the Russians in their efforts to interfere in our 2016 elections. And the attorney general determined that the president did not obstruct justice, period, end of story. The Democrats on this committee know that, and they know that the American people know that. And that's why they won't pursue formal impeachment proceedings. But they also know that most Democrats hate this president. They've decided that he's guilty, regardless of what the facts say. And so instead, the committee Democrats feel no choice but to investigate and investigate and investigate until they find something that looks like a crime. Well, this resolution we are spending valuable committee time on today is nothing more than smoke and mirrors. And this is despite the fact that right before we returned from the August recess, the DOJ Inspector General issued a scathing report detailing the many ways that then FBI Director Comey violated department rules in the way he handled sensitive information, potentially jeopardizing our national security, in what appears to be yet another effort by the left to undermine President Trump. But Democrats on this committee are much more interested in continuing to relitigate the Mueller investigation rather than considering issues long awaiting consideration before this committee. This morning, we could have used this committee's time to bring in and question Inspector General Horowitz about his recent report, but we aren't. And we likely never will, which is a shame, because Americans, our constituents, deserve to know exactly what happened and what can be done to prevent future leaks at the FBI. I hope that after today, Democrats can finally move past this fake impeachment strategy and on to more pressing matters pending consideration before this committee. But I suspect that next week, when we return from our respective districts, they will find yet another way to continue down this rabbit hole. And I yield back.